All right, guys, welcome to my second Let's Play ever. Mega Man Battle Network Blue. Sorry about the sound. I'm experimenting with different things. It's not going so well. Anyways, let's begin. The year is 2000X, meaning this is the past. The world's machines are joined in a worldwide network the internet but there is a dark side to this convenience as well anonymous i mean viruses and net crime the virus lab at the science lab okay conducts research into ways of dealing with these viruses and anonymous one day the students of acdc they're like a band or something School in ACDC town in Den City. Took a field trip to the science lab's virus lab. And the game starts. In the middle is your main character there. His name is Lan. And we are in the science lab, virus lab thing. And apparently it's cool. So we gotta stay focused and quit dreaming though. Daydreaming. Yes, yes, Mega Man, we know. Everyone else is paying attention, Lan. Be like everybody else, don't be an individual. Now we're gonna talk to this guy first. He says these machines are pretty cool, but so are PETs. PETs are personal terminals, that's the upper left hand corner there. With Mega Man, I'm pointing at it, but you can't see me pointing at it because you can't actually see me on the video, so it's in the upper left hand corner. They're small, they can be used as phones, emails, textbooks, all that crap. It's pretty cool, wish we had them in real life. But then those are like iPhones or something, or iPads, whatever you people have. I don't have it, I'm poor. We've got mail. Let's open it up. Mail news. The number of anonymous crimes have increased in the past years. Please be careful of viruses, Trojans, evil navvies, and... Okay. No one else. Alright, this is our folder. This is where we keep our stuff to use in fights. Let's see, what do I want to do here? There we go. I'm going to press select. Because I have four megabytes, I can't really pick a whole lot of chips that I can initially start out with battle. I'll explain battles later. Right now, though, I just want an attack plus ten for always. For now, for always. Here we have the subchip folder, which keeps my tons of crap. I just realized my mouth is my mouth my mouse is in the way for most of this. You'll have stuff to recover your HP, find more items, encounter less battles, blah 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 blah. And this is your library which shows all the chips that you have. You only start out with 12 that you have. This is mega chip, I'll go over that later and gigachip, which there aren't too many of those actually, so. This is your status screen. You start at level one with everything and only 100 health. Four megabyte for my regular chips. I can only put five mega chips in my library and one gigachip. Doesn't matter right now because I don't have any. Again, the email screen. Key items, your personal terminal. Communications, which I have no use for ever going in there. And the save screen. Let's save. Now we'll go and talk to everybody else. I just know that I'll forget. Uh, talk to your Navi by pressing the L button, which Mega Man just tells me to talk to everybody. Here we have Yai. She's a class friend. She's talking about Meilu. 
And something about reports. She's like the youngest person in this class if you watch the anime. So, she's like a child genius. Here you have Meilu. The things we learn may be on the test later. Don't worry, you don't actually have to take any tests. It's just a bunch of battling. Do I know about the regular system? Yeah, that's what I was pressing select for to get the plus 10. It's... It's alright, but you have to have a lot of uh, memory to select the chips that you actually want. I'll go over that as I find the items in game. Or I'll go more over it as soon as I find a plus megabyte in the game. Right now, they're not really giving me too much information. It's just a bunch of bullcrap that you could find out easily on your own. Dex is like the most useless in his sayings. That was the fat kid who's kind of... Bah. Yeah, the middle in the back, fat kid, that's Dex. He's a douchebag and... Yep, alright. So you press the R key and you will jack in. No, jack in. And now he's going to teach us about battles, which I don't really care too much for his tutorial. I like my tutorial better because the first time I played this game I had no idea how to play even after listening to his tutorial three times. So in the upper right you have the name of the enemies. The middle left... Actually, let's do it this way. You have the name of the enemies here. Here is your health. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I'm doing my tutorial. You shut up and I'm doing my tutorial. Alright, right here are the chips you select. You can only select five per round of battle. Here is the picture of the chip, and the name of the chip, the letter of the chip, and the damage it'll do. So press A to select your chip. I don't care about your ass. Now how it works is you can select two chips. You can select multiple chips but only if they're the exact same chip or if you see this letter down here if they match. It doesn't matter because these are the exact same chips with the exact same letter. So that's all you can select for now. Shut up. No, shut up. Then you click OK to start the battle. Uh, don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care. Yeah, 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 all right. So you move around up, down, left, right. Up top here, when this bar gets filled, you start a new round. Now we're gonna go counter something. Bam. Bam. I don't get nothing now. I don't care about your tutorial, it sucks. Now we're up against three and we are going to learn about support chips. Don't care. Don't care, I already explained that. You're a douchebag. So area grab and wide sword. Okay, normally you're confined to these, you're confined to these, shut up. You're confined to these nine squares right here. But when I use area grab, I get these three more. The wide sword hits all three panels right in front of me. And I, just for insult, we'll steal more. Area grab. Whoopsie, I screwed that one up. But yeah, see I got hit and my health went down. If it reaches zero, you are deleted and it is game over. I don't care about your lessons. Your lessons suck. The add button. I should have explained that earlier, actually. Right, because these are all recover plus tens, I can select them all. And we'll hit the add button. We have to survive a churn without chips. Not too hard. I think I'll deal like 10 damage to this guy just because. And we open up and because I added chips, I got rid of those three. I got rid of these three that were originally here. These two moved over. I drew these three chips. 
because I hit the add button, I get to draw three more chips down here. And I think we'll go with cannon, cannon, cannon. Just because. Bam. Bam. Okay, you see what I did with that one enemy when he had his pickaxe over his head and then it went, Bew! Like that, you hear that little noise? That means I beat him in a counter. And normally, if you attack an, or if you kill an enemy in counter, you get um, these items called bug frags. These guys are boring me. It's the next story. I'm just going to go talk to them after school. Anyways, normally after battle, if you beat an enemy with counter, you get items called bug frags. And then bug frags can be used later. Well, right here. Bug frags are used to purchase items, special chips. I believe you can even purchase one, uh, purchase a certain giga chip with bug frags. Otherwise, most of them are you buy them with, or you buy mega chips with bug frags. Here you have money. You usually purchase just regular chips with Zenny. And this down here shows where you're at. All right, we're gonna save, and that'll be all for this episode of Let's Play Mega Man Battle Network Blue. This is Ryan Icy out. See you guys.